I was introduced as an educationalist and a simple mathematics teacher, high school mathematics teacher. Once this opportunity was given to me, I was thinking, I was wondering what to talk. Should I talk for the viewers or should I talk for the audience? Finally, I chose to talk about careers. And you asked me why. The India still before 2014. And one other incident that actually working on my mind was none of the biotechy of IIT Chennai after the core company. Now here is the question. What, are the, what is the trend pattern among the people in choosing the career or the academic qualification? Uh, are we monotonic, stereotypic in choosing our careers? As a teacher, I would go with the definitions. So let us discuss what a stereotype is. To describe this, I want to bring out one incident from my past life which has happened in US. As I told you, I was given opportunities. Whether I am both or not, I don't know, but I was frequently given opportunities. I had an opportunity to teach in US and uh, I was teaching higher algebra there. And uh, next to my class, a global studies uh, class is going on. And the topic was social structure, understanding, understanding social structure. And uh, I am from different ethnicity. The teacher wanted to have an interaction in the class and uh, children are beginning to know about marriage system of India. I was welcomed to the class with a question, are you married? <laughs> Mr. K, are you married? I was walking into the class and I said, no. Do you have a girlfriend? I said, no. Do you have kids? <laughs> I said, no. How old are you? I said, 28 by then. I haven't been married even once. <laughs> I said, no. Are you a gay? <laughs> I said, no. And I went on explaining that my parents are going to search for a marriage, search for a match, and I'm about to be married. This time, the whole class screamed, your parents? I said yes, and I explained about the arranged marriages. See, this is the social conditioning to that set of students which I faced that a 28 year old man should be at least married once, or must have kids, or must have a girlfriend. Such type of, <coughs> such type of intuitive judgment based on the past experiences our uh, experiences of friends and family, our uh, social and uh, public media is stereotyping. It means a widely held but fixed and oversimplified image or idea of a particular type of person or a thing. We have some myths about stereotypes. Our stereotypes are bad. Uh, we are not supposed to stereotype at all. But that is not true. If stereotypes do not have some truth in them, our logical mind won't accept at all. There is some truth in stereotyping, but the problem is they are oversimplified and they are very fixed image of people and things. What we need to do is, we are supposed to challenge the limitation. That is where we are supposed to, uh, it is up to you to break a stereotype up, to challenge a stereotype, to bring up on what kind of stereotype you are facing. Now, I am talking about the uh, educational careers. You too, as engineers, must be facing so much of stereotypism. You, the electrical engineer, fix every fuse bulb in the neighborhood. You, the mechanical engineer, the machine is not working and getting right. You, the engineer, come on, join in IT. You, the engineer, go to US. You, the engineer, do MBA. We have so much of such inputs and we tend to generalize, we tend to bond to such inputs. They work on our mind if at one time or the other. And uh, that leads us to uh, take decisions on crucial issues, issues like education and choosing career. 
Kami berhenti di sini untuk kamu berhenti Saya akan berhenti di survey Terima kasih kepada 100 dari ex students Yang berhenti untuk Choosing career and 5 or 7 years Doing their present position Being in their present position I have asked some questions Like on a 10 point scale Rate how Academic performance Their past academic performance Their education and qualification Their communication skills, their personality traits, their interpersonal relations, how do they affect, how, what impact did they have in choosing career as well as in their present position, career opportunity. I have some interesting uh, outcomes. I want to bring to you notice that few have ruled out the role of academic performance in their present career, in their present job. Few have even told that there is no or little impact of the educational qualification. And many have accepted that their communication skills, personality traits, and interpersonal relationships are very necessary. They form the skill set. And uh, I just skip this. This is a survey on how people with different uh, uh, professional background and uh, what kind of skills they need to have. Okay. Uh, my question is also had one question, like, according to best of your critics, choose some kind of 15 and ask them to suggest what is the best job that suits your persona, irrespective of your academic qualification. I found some interesting answers. A civil engineer is supposed to become a lawyer. The society is supposing him or her to become a lawyer. A program engineer, a software developer is supposed to become a musician. There is a complete mismatch about their personal persona and the jobs they choose. And here is where I actually wanted to interpret. Is there any trend, pattern? in choosing the theories and what are the general factors that people consider in choosing their careers from the questionnaire i have identified some you could match these with you you also must be thinking of choosing a career now interest of course they influence your they influence your decision social status do this job and you will be placed in the society. So, money making, we all work for money and it is essential fuel to live a comfortable life. Salary package, that is so very fancy that makes us decisive in choosing our career. Expectations from friends and family. You have a, this one, uh, the higher son, the neighborhood person's daughter, Look at them, what they are doing, how they are studying. And so much of comparison comes into by the parents and by the uh, friends and by the community and you, which becomes decisive in their career role. Am I correct? Am I making the class serious? Do you agree with these factors? How many of you say that these are the factors that decide in choosing my career? Can you please raise your hands? Sorry, I am a teacher. I am asking to raise your hands. Yep. And if that is the case, you are endangered of being a stereotype. And few people, out of the first need, I have identified few people who chose these factors also. Your passion, your skill set, the social responsibility and the civic sense. I come to the point. Passion. Most of us mistake our interest to passion. Interest is what you can live with. Passion is what you cannot live without. Passion is your fascination. Passion is your dream. Passion is what you die for. We choose our career on the basis of the interest. We choose our career on the basis of the passion. There is a lot of difference in it. I am actually privileged to share the stage with some passionate people who are doing difference in their lives. 
then there are people who are actually doing justice to their personal life and their inner you. There is somebody inside you. I'm talking about the social responsibility. You must be asking me, why should we consider the social responsibility in choosing my own job? In each of you, there is one more you who is not satisfied with the social system, who always confronts with what is happening around you. They are not happy with the poverty, they are not happy with the surroundings, they are not happy with the cleanliness, they are not happy with the attitude of the people. And they don't get vent out. We most of the time suppress. We most of the time suppress and we lead the life. The skill set. The definition for the skill set is constantly changing. I have broadly identified some skills like communication skills, interpersonal relationships. The thing is not so. When the, the technology is advancing, when the jobs are becoming more and more uh, spread over the world, the needs of the MNCs, multinational companies, need of the job is increasing. Now, if I am just a teacher who fear to face you and not be called here, there is some other expectation from me. The society expects. I am a common, simple mathematics teacher. I can live comfortably uh, by making money or going for tuitions and leave the life and some 30, 35 years gone, happy retirement life, kids and their settlement. But the society expects something else beyond my ordinary role. And let us see what is this skill set. The future works in 2020. There is Phoenix University associated with one NGO have identified what are the skills that are required by 2020 to be placed very nicely in, in your academic and professional career. The skills are completely changing. You need the transdisciplinarity, the sense making, the novel and the adaptive thinking, social intelligence, new media literacy, cross-cultural competency. I, I want to focus on the transdisciplinarity. If those, those students who did their biotechnology have chosen the job in an IT form because of this transdisciplinarity, I appreciate. If they have chosen the job because of the fancy salary, I have to think about, I have to ask them, are you not being stereotyped? How have you chosen a nice opportunity of studying in IIT and having been studied for four years of biotechnology going for another job, just leaving it there? Is it because you didn't choose right at, at the time of choosing your academic career or at the time of choosing your professional career? Where did that mismatch happen? I mean, we have to answer to ourselves. The definition for the future work skills is changing. So these are the factors that are to be necessary in choosing your career. Passion, skill set, your persona, your skill set, and the social responsibility, the inner you. You satisfy, you listen to the inner you and do something. He has an inner he. he, he suffer and he wants to make others not to suffer. He is spreading the message. Each one of the people here have them have some inner them and they are giving vent to them. And the professional satisfaction that they get is immense. The time between you go to sleep and you, you actually sleep. You go to bed and actually sleep. That's the time for introspection. That's the time for uh, Asking question, your mind asks you, and that is where you identify whether you are a happy personality or not. To have that time comfortable, you are supposed to take these factors. And I am giving examples, I need not quote anybody else than these people here, but I am giving some examples who have uh, either followed the passion or, or uh, heard the inner them, or uh, you see these examples. Jane Gurk, he is not, uh, not from engineering base. This man has a hobby. He has a hobby. 
and his hobby is to take pictures of the environment. That has turned to a big platform for people to talk about 8,000 species of Indian flora. He pulled up 160,000 pictures. The passion, the hobby turned to a big platform. Anjali Gopalan, she is the founder of NAS Foundation. Second is the plight of Indian girls and the attitude of people in Indian government. She started an organization, the Groom, uh, the Groom project of the organization is to uh, use a game like uh, netball as a media to address the issues of HIV and AIDS to improve the personality, the personal hygiene and to address such sexual health issues. Anjali Gopalan. Vivek Modi, a civil engineer. I think you all must be knowing, you just browse internet and you will be coming across with such people in abundance. Vivek Modi, a civil engineer. He is fascinated about the Indian heritage and culture, especially of Gujarat. So, he started uh, working on place and uh, uh, mobilizing people to preserve that Indian heritage. He is doing it big. He, is, he, is, he himself is a tech speaker. And then Mahesh Mustak, this beautiful young lady, is very talented. She made an app called Daily Kashmir. You want to know everything about, everything you want to know about Kashmir from that app. And that app is already already with 20,000 downloads. And Vikas Jindra, the first Asian to win the international uh, public speaking competition. So, before choosing your career, you quickly can go through this, you can check this process, find out the purpose of your life, think big about the possibilities and consequences, check out your skill set to see whether you have the necessity, this is very important, and acquire the skills that come in the way to live your dream and finally be a passion slave. Be a passion slave.